Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Your first night together. This reading will be spicy. Caliente. This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different lipstick options. Lipstick one. This gorgeous dragon. M15. Dragon Velvet Lipstick. Beautiful nude. And they got really fancy and they made art. They carved art into the actual lipstick, but I can't discern what it is. I guess that's a dragon. But it's a beautiful lipstick. Pile number two, Armani, classic red, Armani 400. Tres, three, Selena Mac. Look at that rose. Selena, uh, it's not a matte, it's a cream sheen lipstick, so it has some shine to it. Quattro, lipstick number four, hieroglyphics, y'all. I can't read that, I guess it's Chinese, 309. It's ZC. I got it at Amazon. ZC, the British Museum. As always, timestamps will be provided. Think of the person you want to have sex with and make your selection. If you chose the dragon lipstick, pile number one, here is your reading. Here I thought. Queen of Cups, Reina de Copas. Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas. I'm seeing the equivalent of mashed potatoes. You know, mashed potatoes are very simple. It's a very simple food. I'm seeing vanilla sex. Not sure what the Five of Cups is about yet, but we'll get to the bottom of this. Vanilla, straightforward sex. No bells, no whistles, no whips, no chains. Haven't used this deck in a while. I'll do a good hard shuffle. So I put on a wig last night and a push-up bra and a lot of makeup. And I did the July readings for all 12 signs at Extra Basic Tarot, so be sure and check that out. Ace of Pentacles, House of the Oros. You could be fucking a Taurus. I'll call out a possible astral combo for this fucker once saw the cards They're on the table. Strength. A tarot card that features pubes. Gotta love it. Tarot 
temperance. My most romantic tarot deck, Legend Arthurian. The Fool, El Loco. King of Swords, Rey de Espadas. Ace of Shields, Ace of Pentacles again, all state Oros. And then my favorite tarot deck on the planet, the Mayan Tarot, Zoltun. Ace of Cups, Osticopus. The Hanged Man, El Colgado. And then we have the magician, El Mago. So what I'm seeing here is that you may be really emotionally invested. You're all in heart and soul. You've made it clear you are in love with this person. Uh, you're submissive. You're feminine, regardless of your sexual preference, your gender. You have a lot of water energy in your natal chart. If you chose pile one, you could have sun and cancer, Pisces rising, moon and Pisces. That's one possibility of many, but I'm seeing a lot of water. Your person, this person you're going to have vanilla sex with, they could have Sun and Taurus, Taurus rising, Moon and Leo. We do have the King of Swords in the center. So if they have Sun and Taurus, maybe they have Mercury and Gemini because Mercury is always in the same sign as your Sun or the sign before or after. Whatever the case may be, I see this person being very cold very emotionally detached. The sex is going to be good. It's going to be very lusty. Uh, but this person is all business. They're very matter of fact. Okay, we fucked. We did this thing. I'm not seeing words of love. I'm not seeing afterglow. I'm not seeing cuddling. I'm not seeing ooey, gooey, soft, sappy stuff. I feel like the emotions, the romance is coming from you because to have the Ace of Cups in the first row, but then we have the strong Taurus energy with the Hierophon and Ace of Pentacles twice and the King of Swords in the center. Um to have Queen of Cups next to Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the card of unrequited love. It's an Amy Winehouse song, Billie Holiday, Janis Joplin, Patsy Cline. I feel like you're loving someone who is not able to love you back. They could be married or they're just not looking for anything serious and substantial. They just want sex, no strings attached. This could be friends with benefits. Uh, and I get on the soapbox. I talk about it a lot. I don't really want to get into it right now. But um, just my perspective, my life experience, what I've observed, what I've experienced. I feel like a lot of times women pretend like they're okay with friends with benefits or someone who has a lot of feminine energy. You pretend like you're okay with friends with benefits, but you don't really want casual. You want the emotional intimacy. You want the commitment. And they can't give you that. So I see your first night together, or your first time together being very lusty, very matter of fact. Um, but for this person, there's not really any emotion involved. I see them being very closed off. Uh, they probably have at least one Gemini placement, or they could have stuff in the third house, the house of Gemini, a Mercury that makes a fuck ton of aspects. They're very cerebral. Uh, 
I'm getting scientist energy. They could be a scientist or an accountant. Uh, this is not a warm, friendly person. They're not congenial. They're not necessarily an extrovert. Um, I don't see them offering you their heart on a silver platter. So psychologically, I would say it's BDSM, where they have the upper hand, they have the power, they're the dom, and you're the sub, but I don't see, like, whips and chains and all that. But maybe there will be. So I really emphasize entertainment purposes of this channel. <clears throat> Not a personal reading. I am reading for a global audience. But that's what I see for the dragon lipstick for pile one. I hope that helps. I hope that entertains. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Armani Red lipstick number two, here is your reading. Seven of Swords, they did the Espadas. I need to clear my throat chakras. My throat chakras? I have multiple throat chakras. I need to clear my throat chakra because <clears throat> I just woke up and I was up for hours last night up until dawn doing uh, the July Zodiac readings for Extra Basic Tarot. <clears throat> Sound like I smoked a pack of Marlboro Reds and drank a fifth of Jack Daniels, but that is not the case. Ah, 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 ah. The Hanged Man, El Colgado. Get the fuck out of here with that. Five of Swords. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Cinco. The Espadas. I'm hearing, remember, walking in the sand, the Shangri-Las. So when I was a kid, my parents had this 8-track. It was wide. It had a pink label. You can Google 8-track and you'll find out what an 8-track is. Before CDs and cassettes, there were 8-tracks back when we had vinyl. I still have vinyl. I have a record player. But anyway... My mom said this man came to the house with this van and he had this business where he would make you a customized eight tracks. Anyway, I can still recall every song that was on that eight track. And I was three or four when they had that. But the most haunting song on that eight track is Remember Walking in the Sand by the Shangri-Las. God, it's a good song. It's so eerie. And there's a part in the song where they go, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Remember, walking in the sand. <laughs> it's just, God, I love that song. I'm gonna have to add it, or I'm gonna have to put it on my next playlist. I've got the full moon and Capricorn playlist. I make playlists for every full moon and new moon. The next moon phase coming up, this is timeless reading, but as I record this, the new moon, New Moon and Leo on my ex's birthday, July 28th. So, I'm getting a sense that this could be very volatile. I mean, shit, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, sandwiching the hanged man. I'm not getting warm and fuzzy vibes so far. Whatever happened to the boy that I once knew? I can't do that song justice. I just can't. The boy who said he'd be true. God, it's a good song. It's so dramatic. The chariot, El Carro. The sun, El Sol. He, uh, um, very good at all. Ten of Wands, Deus de Bastos. 
So I'm getting strong feminine masculine energy, similar to pile one. You're probably the one that has a lot of feminine energy, a lot of water, and this person, the person you're going to fuck, they have a lot of masculine. I got a wild hair up my ass. Do people still say that? I still say that. Uh, I just realized because we're going to be moving soon. I don't know where we're moving to, but we're going to be moving out of this house. And I have got this huge stack in the garage of paintings, my paintings on canvas. Uh, I don't have the energy or the ambition to promote myself to the art world in San Antonio and try to get a solo exhibit. I just, no, I can't dance to that. But I'm not going to keep all this art, and a lot of it's terrible. A lot of it sucks. So I had this great idea that I'm going to write hashtags in black Sharpie on the back promoting my brand, Brands, Extra Basic Tarot, Siren Tarot, Evulence Press, Chupacabra Disco, uh, Nova's Gone Potty, Bullshit Rodeo, Fucker Butt Happy Time, Rainwater Lights, etc., etc. On the back of these paintings, and then just donate them to Goodwills all over San Antonio. Um, you know, so people that don't really have any money can buy my art for pocket change and Maybe find me, find my channels, find my books, I don't know. It's cool because uh, a few years ago when I was hiking the trails at O.P. Schnabel, this park in San Antonio, these hiking trails, I would do goofy things like, this is another park actually, but I would leave my art and Barbies and eggs, you know, prize eggs, plastic eggs with messages inside, just for fun, and I left a collage, a framed collage, with my Twitter handle on the back. And then years later, I was looking at my old Twitter account, and I found someone had found that collage, and they posted a picture of it on Twitter. And that was just the coolest thing. I love doing shit like that. Okay. Uh, Seven of Shields, Siete de Oros, Page of Spears, Sotha de Bastos, King of Spears, Ray de Bostos. And then my favorite tarot deck on the planet. These cards, the illustrations, actually remind me of my Scorpio X's art, but he's someone who he's 18 years older than me. He was born the same year as my mom, but he has a fuck ton of energy. A Scorpio badass. So here he was working two, three different jobs, but he was also going and promoting the fuck out of his art. And since we broke up, I have seen via Google that he has gallery representation. He's gone to Mexico. He's, he's been all over uh, promoting his art. His art is brilliant. He specializes, or what he really does, it's all that he does exclusively. He does Mayan paintings that are very much like these cards. Page of Cups, Sotha de Copas, King of Cups, Ray de Copas, talking about a Scorpio, we got all this water. So cool. Seven of Staff, Seven of Wands, and to the Bastos. I'm very glad that we didn't go the distance. We weren't supposed to. Um, he was not my person, but he is a brilliant artist. I can acknowledge that. So we have all this water. And we have all this fire. We have a lot of major arcana. This is complicated. So I am seeing a relationship here. Unlike pile one, I was seeing more friends with benefits, something casual. This looks like it is a relationship, but it's a very problematic one. It's very complicated. Um, this could be someone who comes in and out of your life and you've gone through cycles with this person. Uh, and I do realize the title of the video is Your First Night Together. 
which would suggest you've not fucked this person yet, but I feel like you have fucked this person if you chose pile two. Or if this is someone you're manifesting, you could be manifesting some chaos, something that is uh, on again, off again, all around the mulberry bush. So this person is a type A personality. They are a workaholic. If they're addicted to anything, they're addicted to work. They could be a manager. They could be a boss. They could own their own company. Um, they could be an architect. I don't know. I'm just thinking of this Virgo architect that I had a couple of dates with back in the dinosaur ages of, God, was it 2015? It must have been. 2014. 2014 when I was dating manically, trying to replace the void left by Capricorn X. So they could be an architect, they could own a construction company, they could build houses, they could build um, schools, museums, taco restaurants, Mexican restaurants, hell, I don't know. But this person's very successful. They're very ambitious, they're very driven. And they are extremely sexual. They have a lot of sex. Uh, when they aren't working, they're fucking. And they could be fucking on a boat, a yacht, or maybe it's a canoe. I don't think, well, they could have a canoe. They could be an eccentric rich person who still buys stuff like canoes. I guess rich people have canoes. I don't know. I've never been rich. But they like being on the water. So a yacht, a speedboat, canoe, whatever. Uh, white water raft. I feel like this person, if this is a man, I'm seeing someone who is um, very aggressive and very athletic. They could be, he could be an alpha male. He could be all about the gains. You know, he's, he's drinking the um, protein shakes or the smoothies. He's um, living on kale and salmon. Or maybe he's just a fucking vegan, but he's lifting weights. He's running. Uh, he looks really good naked. Now, if this is a woman, she's very slender. Very slender. Very high strung. It doesn't matter what their gender is. This person's not overweight. Not to focus on physicality so much, but it's... It's your first night together, so the body comes into it. This person is very militant about what they eat and how they take care of themselves. They have a lot of vitamins, a lot of supplements, um, and they have this black and white personality, definite likes and dislikes, very strong opinions. Whatever their opinions are, their political affiliations, everyone knows about it. They could be the kind of person who just takes a really strong stance on social media. Uh, I don't think they have a podcast. They could, but their career is so stressful. It's so, um, it's so, I don't know, they make a lot of money. And so they're not really, I'm not getting the energy of someone who is creative, someone like me who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And I'm just throwing all this stuff out in the air with my various channels and my art and my books. I'm not seeing a creative person. I'm seeing a person who is very much a master of the matrix. They're very good at 3D stuff. A long-term human, as they say. And... You're competent. I feel like you um, have money. I don't feel like money is an issue or a problem if you chose pile two. But you're not as driven as this person. Your, your energy is a lot softer. It's a lot more subdued, introverted, feminine, passive, warm. You're feminine. They're masculine. Okay. Um... Now, I feel like this is not going to be romantic, but they're not a romantic person. So again, I'm not really seeing 
casual. I'm not seeing friends with benefits. I feel like it is a relationship, but it's very much on their terms. And they're not the kind of person who's going to just text you, oh, baby, I just heard this song. It reminded me of you, or I just saw this sunset and I thought of you, or I'm sitting here drinking a glass of Prosecco, listening to Wagner, thinking of you. No, that's, that's not this person. Um, they send you a text. Can you meet up? Yes. 3 p.m. The Taco Cabana parking lot. Be there. They wouldn't say the Taco Cabana parking lot. I'm just pulling that out of my ass. But they're very um, terse and very to the point in their communication. Uh, I just bought two tickets to Fiji. Let's go. They call the shots, okay? A possible astro combo for this person, they could have Sun in Gemini, Leo rising, Moon in Aries. It could be all masculine in their astro combo, air and fire. You could have Sun in Cancer, Leo rising, Moon in Gemini. You may have a significant conjunction like sun conjunct moon moon conjunct moon i don't think you have moon conjunct moon you could it's a it's a pick a card i'm reading for a global audience but um with moon conjunct moon there is this understanding this closeness that you don't have with just anyone it's, it's very unusual um like say if you had your moon at to cancer and they had their moon at four cancer there's going to be this unspoken understanding and it's just easy and it flows i'm seeing a lot of friction and tension so you could have moon square moon or moon opposite moon you don't really understand each other you don't speak the same love language their love language is probably acts of service uh and yours could be words of love or warmth affection you know being held being caressed i don't see them caressing your face and gazing into your eyes and saying baby where have you been no um they're not romantic okay the sex will be good they're very athletic but as far as a spiritual connection where there's eye contact intense eye contact and poetic words just flowing between you i'm not seeing that for pile two so this could be someone you've not manifested yet your first night together is going to be very fast like the point of where you start talking from the, when you first start talking to when you have sex it's going to be fast it's going to take you by surprise and you're going to feel kind of let down at the end even if you have orgasms even if the sex was good as far as orgasms go emotionally you're going to feel deprived but it's complicated it, it reads really karmic to me lessons to be learned so you're going to get pulled into this and it's going to be on and then not on and you're going to be uh wondering do they really like me are they really into me well that's just the way they are no one that they're with is going to hit emotional high notes because they're not an emotional, romantic, poetic, spiritual person. They're probably an atheist, maybe an agnostic. They're not on a spiritual path. So I'm not seeing a soulmate kind of connection here. That's what I see for pile two. I hope that helps. I hope that entertains. Check out Extra Basic Tarot if you want to see me in a wig reading for all the zodiac signs, which is gracias. And if you chose Selena, beautiful matte lipstick with the rose it's beautiful nude here's your reading it's dark it's only 6 40 6 46 p.m looking at the stove clocks in antonio texas but it's overcast it's supposed to rain it needs to rain 
the century mark weather day after day of 100 degree weather or higher it's it's just it's it's crazy i'm tired of it i never get out of the house i'm always inside six of pentacles says the oros but i want a good hard rainstorm two of pentacles those the oros Ace of Cups, Austin Copas. Are we finally going to have a pile that's romantic? That's not just, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are there going to actually be words of love here? Or is it going to be uh, caresses, eye contact, cuddling, afterglow? I don't know. Let's keep going. I don't remember what sex is like. I haven't had sex in a million fuck ass years. I don't miss mediocrity. I don't miss mediocre sex. I don't miss meaningless sex where there was no emotional connection. I would rather just be alone with my vibrators. Oh, that reminds me, the Love Shack Boutique. So that's where I get my vibrators. The Love Shack Boutique on Babcock. I heard that they're going to do a location by where I live, a second location, and I need to go check that out. They apparently had the store opening in June, I think. I need to go check it out. So yeah. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, that's such a vibrator card because the Nine of Pentacles, maybe the Oros, it's about being alone and liking it. Pimping your own ride. And then we got four of cups, cuatro de copas, and then we got eight of cups, ocho de copas. My most romantic deck, Legend Arthurian. Queen of Shields, Queen of Oros. Reina de Oros, Queen of Pentacles. I'm just distracted by the Black Cat. I've only been using this deck for a million years. It's one of my oldest decks, but usually the Black Cat in the Rider Waite, the Black Cat is with the Queen of Wands. The Priestess. I call that the sex card. Eight of spears, eight of wands. I want you to boss those. My favorite tarot deck, mine tarot, Zoltun. La Justicia, Justice, the Knight of Wands, Caballo de Bastos, and Big King Daddy, <clears throat> the Emperor. I'm going to have to clear my throat chakra again. Sounds like I just smoked to pack the Marlboro Reds and drink a fit the Jack Daniels. No, not at all. Uh, I was up for hours until dawn doing the Zodiac readings for July for Extra Basic Tarot. I had the wig, I had the makeup, I had the push-up bra. It was glorious. Ah, 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 ah. Love myself better than you. I know it's wrong, so what should I do? One more special message to go, and then I'm done, and I can go home. I strummed the hell out of my out-of-tune electric guitar yesterday, and I sang a lot of songs, and I don't know any chords, but I just strummed the hell out of the guitar, and I made a video, a recording, 
I made the video at Canva, didn't I? Yeah, I did for uh, my original YouTube channel, Evelyn's Press. Check it out if you are bored. Your first fuck, your first night together. What is it going to be? Um, this is going to be a relationship. What I get from these cards is that it's been a long time between drinks of water, a dry spell, like what I've experienced, but it's not really a dry spell because, I mean, I'm choosing it. It's, it's choice, but there's been a long time where you've just been enjoying yourself. You've been on your own. You've not been trying to get with anyone. And, um, then boom, here it is. Here's this person, here's this relationship, and it's really hot, it's really heavy, it's really deep, it's really intense. Immediately. Love at first sight. Uh, we have, God, it's dark. Yeah, we have the two signifiers. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. There could be a bit of an age gap. Uh, this person is not your usual type. If you're like me and you've mostly been involved with older men or older people, whatever, I've always been with older men, mostly. The men that I've loved the most, they've been older. My two ex-husbands, older. I've got Mars and Capricorn. I like older. Um, if you've usually been with older partners, this is different. This is someone younger than you probably going by these cards. They're going to be younger. Uh, it's going to take you by surprise, you know, because we just live in this very cynical, uh, visual world it's it's all instagram and it's kardashian nation talking about america the united states how big is your ass how big are your tits how much plastic surgery have you had how much weight did you lose um do you fast have you done a juice cleanse lately so there's all that focus so you may be taken by surprise you may be think you may be thinking wow you're so young and hot and you could get any Instagram model, any OnlyFans model. Why do you want me? I'm aging and I'm a few pounds overweight and I'm not that flashy. I'm not showing my stuff on Instagram. So why do you want me? They want you because you have substance and you could be a sugar mama or sugar daddy. But it's not just about that. I mean, they like you. They really like you as a person. They like your substance. They like your character. They like your personality. And the sex is going to be good. It's going to take you by surprise how good the sex is. I'm seeing a lot of orgasms. Uh, and there is emotional stuff. It's going to take a while to get to the Ace of Cups. Because it's going to seem like it's very sex-based in the beginning. Um. Uh, And your intuition may tell you, okay, this is too good to be true. Something is off here. This person's a player. This person is going to rip my heart out of my chest and stomp on it with combat boots. But don't be, don't be negative. Don't sabotage this. Just go with it. Just claim it. Own it. Say, yeah. Why wouldn't this person want to have sex with me? I am fuckable. I'm a goddess. I'm a god. Whatever. Own your power. Don't get stuck in the 3D shit, how much you weigh, what you look like, you know. Um, you bring a lot to the table. You're a very good partner. You're a very good lover, so own that. Uh, I'm seeing a relationship. This could eventually lead to marriage. You could have a child or children with this person. If you're past the age of having kids, maybe you'll start a farm you'll start collecting goats or chickens i don't know but i see money i see shared resources i'm seeing a partnership a possible astro combo for those who chose selena pile three you could have set in virgo libra rising moon and cancer 
This person that you're going to have this amazing sex with, they could have Sun and Aries. Aries rising, Moon and Scorpio, a lot of Mars, Pluto. But you're going to enjoy it. This is going to be a relationship that you can sink your teeth into. So this is not a hit it and quit it. This is not casual. This is not friends with benefits. That's what I see for pile three. I hope that helps. I hope that entertains. I think the rain is about to start. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Good. Hard. Storm. Uh, check out Extra Basic Tarot. I was wearing a wig and a lot of makeup. I did the Zodiac readings for July, which is gracias. And if you chose the Egyptian lipstick, my God, it's dark. But the message is the main thing. You've seen these cards a million times, probably. You've seen a lot of tarot readings. You know what the pictures look like. The main thing is my voice. I have a really good voice that you don't hear every day. Or maybe you do if you're a subscriber. Thank you. Thank you to my subscribers and my supporters. It's been a long, hard road. It's taken me a while to get to 21,000 subscribers. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for my subscribers my clients, my patrons at Patreon. Thank you. Uh, but you've seen the cards. Just focus on my voice because I really feel good about this reading. I want to upload it. I don't want to scrap it. That's the Four of Cups, Quatro de Copas. The Ace of Pentacles, Os de Oros. My stomach is grumbling. I've got to make a smoothie out of bananas and spinach and strawberries. That's the Empress. You're beautiful. Uh, you have this natural beauty and you don't know it. You don't know how beautiful you are. You may not know your worth. You may not know your value. Carve that in stone. The best cards in the deck begin with each of us. Before someone hands us the Ace of Cups, we got to find the Ace of Cups in ourselves. That's basic. Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros, King of Water, Ray de Copas, Six of Wands, Seis de Bastos. Nine of Shields, Nine of Pentacles, maybe the Oros. Yeah, you have this natural beauty that you're probably not aware of. Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas, King of Cups, again, Ray de Copas. That's Planet Venus. That's 20, that's judgment in the rider weight, that's the judgment. Ace of Jade, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of the Oros, and Two of Cups, Those to Copas. This is the soulmate pile. Use whatever label you want, soulmates or twin flames. I realize there's a difference, but all the semantics are tedious to me. Soulmates, twin flames, high level soulmates, divine counterparts. This is good. This is yummy. This is really amazing sinistry. This is a spiritual connection. A lot of I love you's, sweetheart, baby, darling, terms of endearment. This is good. This is my kind of energy. So it's not just good, lusty sex. There's a lot of feeling involved. You love each other. You're in love. And when you fuck the first time, your first night together, it's going to be established that you're in love. You're not going to have sex and then later discover that you're in love. You're going to know before you fuck that you're in love. You choose each other. 
And I feel like it's been a long, hard road to get to this. Maybe um, you started off as a connection, you just met on social media or at the grocery store, whatever, and you couldn't be together because you were with other people, whatever. But you're together now, and once you get together, this could last. This could be a substantial relationship, potentially a marriage. Uh, you're not going to be able to live without each other. You're going to get really, really close, and you can't really imagine yourselves being with anyone else once you come together. You come together, yes, shared orgasms, multiple orgasms, and eye contact, and it's what was missing from a couple of the other piles. You know, I can see this person caressing your face and gazing into your eyes and saying all the words, the words that you've been aching to hear for a long time. Um, it's a connection. It's romantic. You're both romantics. You send each other these beautiful cards, letters. It's very old fashioned. It's timeless. Uh, you've probably been together in numerous incarnations and you're together now. You miraculously find each other after you've had to kiss a lot of frogs. You've had a lot of really unsavory experiences, um, relationships that just flatlined, relationships that didn't go anywhere. And you finally meet, the, I feel like for pile four, this is people that have a lot of life experience, like people who have been married and divorced a couple of times. I'm seeing myself actually in this pile. I'm being optimistic. <laughs> I'm 49, but you could be in your 40s, 50s, maybe older. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat chakra again. Ah, there's love here. Gold standard love. Love that is real. It's deeply felt. It lasts. There's nothing casual about this. This is not a hit it and quit it. This is not, hey, you up? Meet me at Applebee's or come over. I've got a surprise for you. And oh, there's a dick pic or there's a picture of what you're missing out on. Don't you want some of this? Yeah. And then you have sex and it's like, uh, I could have had a V8. It's an old commercial from the 80s. Just something mediocre where it's just sex for the sake of sex. Just skin on skin. That is not this. This is a spiritual connection. It's romantic. It's deeply felt. Did I call out astro combos? Possible astro combos? I don't think I did. If you chose pile four, I feel like you have a lot of earth and water. You could have sun and cancer, Capricorn rising, moon and Virgo. That's just one possibility. This person could have sun and Scorpio, Scorpio rising, moon and Taurus. But I feel like you have really good synastry. You could have sun conjunct moon, moon conjunct moon. You understand each other and it just flows. So there's no more light, and that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.